Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my nursery tour for baby boy, little baby Eli. I am so excited to show you guys his nursery. It is so, so cute. I feel like everything came together just like so nicely and cohesively. And I feel like I utilized our small space really, really well. So I can't wait to show you guys it and kind of show you how I organized everything and what I decided to do in a nursery versus like not do because he is my third kid. And so I did a nursery for my twins uh, three years ago. So I kind of learned from that what I really wanted and needed and what I didn't need and I will show you guys everything but first I'm working with an amazing company on this video I am working with Nurture and if you guys don't know about Nurture and they're a female founded direct-to-consumer company that makes nursery furniture it's designed by parents for parents they make elevated nursery furniture that is high quality construction with materials that are easy to clean premium fabric and will make your life so much easier when it is going through baby toddler child every stage of life setting up our glider was was honestly so easy and my husband helped me out once we got it unboxed the hardest part was just getting it up the stairs because it is such a high quality glider it does have quite a bit of weight to it but I honestly like that it just means it's high quality putting it actually together in the nursery took minutes I mean it was very seamless it's got some really cool features that I'm going to talk about so the piece that we have in our nursery from nurture Anne is their glider it is like their signature beautiful piece they also have other nursery furniture on their website but this one is just absolutely spectacular in its own because because I feel like the glider and the crib are like the two key elements to a nursery. I use my glider all the time. It is honestly like the best place to just sit, snuggle, nurse, rest, hang out with him. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to show you guys in this video um, how it kind of ties in with the rest of our nursery and how I've styled it in our nursery. And if you're looking for a glider specifically in your nursery, especially if you're looking for a quality piece that's going to last you through many children, then I would look no further. And I also have a discount code for you guys for 50 dollars off that code is jensen50 make sure you do it with an on that's how my last name spelled jensen50 and if you use that like i said you get 50 dollars off so take advantage of that and they do have sales every now and then also so i would just follow them on socials to make sure you see if you're looking into getting one of their pieces of furniture and you want a discount then it'll notify you if they're doing any sales because they actually just had a labor day sale so i know that they do discounts every now and then but my code specifically is for their seating so you can use that code if you buy any seating on on their website. Some of the super cool things that the glider can do is it has a power recline and it actually has two little buttons on the side where you can adjust the headrest. One of the buttons um, like adjusts the headrest forward and back and then the other button fully reclines it to almost like a complete laying out position. It is so comfortable. Oh my gosh. After I nurse him in that position, if I just want to snuggle and relax with him, I just lean that thing all the way back and it is honestly so comfy and spectacular. And the fact that I don't have to like crank a big handle to get it to do that like it just automatically does it when I click the button is spectacular but you can customize it so you can hold the button down and only have it recline a little bit if that's what you're comfortable with or you can just hold the button and have it go all the way also it is stain resistant fabric it's super easy to clean and it also has a built-in USB charger that is the other thing that is so so helpful if you spend a ton of time in your glider you need to charge your phone you need to plug in a sound machine anything like that it has a built-in USB and I'm planning once he is older and does doesn't need a glider in his nursery anymore to moving it downstairs so we have a full-on recliner comfy rocker style chair in our living room because I think it's just nice to have one of those anyways but it's just extra seating it's high quality without further ado here is my nursery tour okay entering the nursery we have our hallway here this is our washer and dryer laundry closet that is the twins room which I can give an updated like tour of the twins room they'll be three next month so their room is not really quite a nursery anymore so i can show you guys that later but here is little elias's nursery show you guys what it looks like when you just first walk in and look at it this room is very small like both the bedrooms in our house are small our master bedroom is large and over in here we have elias doing some awake time and just hanging out in his little snuggle me no he doesn't sleep in this it's just for fun awake time so here baby noises this is where it's coming from <laughs> he is five weeks old today he looks so handsome in his crib so when you first walk in this is our play area this has no other spot in our house so 
This is obviously for the twins, but it will be for Eli here in a minute. But this is what we have on this wall, this whole setup with our toys. We've got all the toys organized in baskets here and then just some on display on the top row. And then I will show you guys what is up here. Okay, so this is like my catch-all tray. Everyone kind of needs one of these in a nursery. There's just kind of no avoiding it, to be honest. So I just have some binkies, some binky clips, two binky sterilizers. I don't know how I ended up with two. I think I bought one and then I was gifted one by my sister-in-law, so <laughs> that's how that happened. Um, just some cute ultrasound pictures, a webinub. This is like a little binky carrying case that I can add on to my diaper bag. It's nice like when I come in when he's napping in here and he needs a binky, I can just grab one so I don't have to search around in the dark. So it's kind of nice to have them right by the door. And then moving over here, I have this little stand that I got from the Target dollar spot. I have a diffuser, which you're not supposed to diffuse oils till I think babies are like one years old. So I won't use this for a long time, but I actually only have this in here because one of the twins, Isaac, was sleeping in this room for a little bit and I diffuse when he sleeps. So that is why that's in here, but I don't really have another spot for it. Dollar section as well, I think. This little plant, I can't remember where this one is from. This honestly might be Target dollar spot too. And then this is just one of his little name signs that I brought to the hospital. I put it on display here. I, that's why I love the wood ones because they're just so pretty as a decorative piece afterwards. And this is a cute little rattle that was gifted by my best friend. And up here, I have all these little Winnie the Pooh quotes. This one's kind of hard to see. Let me adjust the plant so you can actually see the picture. But it says, how do you spell love? As you don't spell it, you feel it. And that's Piglet, um, Pooh talking to Piglet. And then there's this one that says, we didn't realize we were making memories. We just knew we were having fun. Oh, bless you. This one says how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. This one's probably my favorite. These two are probably my favorites just quote wise. I love that quote. And then this last one says, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think, which is probably my favorite Winnie the Pooh quote ever. Um, his room isn't technically like Winnie the Pooh themed, but I also have a map over here of the Hundred Acre Woods. So I guess technically, technically it could be like a Winnie the Pooh theme, but it's just kind of like earthy, natural, kind of cute baby stuff. I don't know. That's kind of the theme I was going for. This is just a cute little hanger. And then I do have blackout curtains. It's kind of hard to see with the light adjusting. And they're amazing for nap time. I recommend blackout curtains to basically any parent who's like working to improve their kid's sleep. Like they make a huge difference. Sorry, it keeps adjusting on the window, but makes a huge difference. Super helpful. So yeah, we have those hung up there. Down here, I just keep my swaddles and wraps. Um, some of those are handmade by my sister-in-law. And then the other ones are from Solly Baby. And then I have his sound machine right there and then the star of the show our beautiful glider I added a blanket and a pillow because I do nurse him a lot in this spot and so I like having a pillow under my arm and that one is just super cute you want your binky <laughs> he wanted his binky and then I have some hanging shelves up here which I just kind of put some random stuff on but I love that little name sign I brought that to the hospital but I didn't end up using it till he came home because he actually went to the NICU for a few days so I didn't take like first pics in the hospital I did it once we came home but I just think that's so cute that's like his birth info and yeah some beautiful little wood shelves right there above the rocker and then moving over to the crib area I have this rug down here this is actually a convertible mini crib so I decided to do a mini crib because honestly I don't have the space in here for a traditional crib and I actually love mini cribs and my three-year-old still could probably sleep in a mini crib if he wanted so I honestly just decided to go this route for space saving reasons and I love it like I love this crib and and here's our little star of the show <laughs> he's saying hi we've got our monitor up there and this is what I was saying this beautiful map of the hundred acre woods I just think this is so darling I got all my Winnie the Pooh like little art pieces on Etsy if you were wondering and if you do have questions you can ask them below about anything and then moving over to this dresser so we actually thrifted the dresser it was like the ugliest brownish gray color we painted it we added hardware and I absolutely love it I feel like it just ties this whole room together and just adds like a nice pop of color just because we have so many like neutral tones and then the green is just like boom I love it up here we have some swaddle blankets a little lamp the bulb I put in here is really like low light and nice so it's perfect for nighttime even though he's not sleeping in here yet he does take naps in here and then here's my shoe collection most of these are hand-me-downs for my sister-in-law but they're so cute these are from freshly picked these are from Fe freshly picked I know baby shoes are kind of dumb but I just think they're cute for like pictures and stuff okay so going into the actual dresser organization 
up here, by the way, it's not super organized. <laughs> he's five weeks old, so it's not like perfect anymore. But I have um, socks and these little organizers, and then these are all hats. This was my preemie drawer, and he doesn't fit in preemie anymore. So this one is now empty, and I'm going to start putting um, zero to three sleepers in here because newborn sleepers are getting a little bit tight. He can still fit in them fine, but they're just getting a little on the tighter side. So I'm gonna start putting footies, zero to three footies in here. So this is long sleeve newborn onesies. This is newborn sleepers, which the store's looking a little barren because I'm doing some laundry right now. So most of his sleepers are in the laundry, but that's that. And then this is short sleeve, like more summery onesies and pants, which this drawer is kind of getting crazy, but I try to do like the KonMari method. It's kind of hard with baby clothes to be honest, but yeah, that is mostly just short sleeve onesies, pants, and kind of like summery outfits. And then this is my swaddle drawer, just extra swaddles that I'm not currently using. Um, the twins went through phases with swaddles, so I'm assuming he's kind of going to be the same way, and he kind of has been. He likes the like zip up sack swaddles, and he also likes swaddle blankets. So currently that's the situation with him and that's just what he prefers right now, but I'm sure he'll kind of go through phases with like the arms up one. This drawer is just extra um, swaddle blankets, like muslin blankets, so. That's what's in the stand-up dresser, and then we move on to the closet, and just that's the door to the hallway, and that's just like a cute little hanging plant, and then when we go in the closet, it's not very organized, like I'm just warning you, but honestly, it's just more practical for me. So this is what the closet looks like. Um, I swear it's like not that big of a mess. <laughs> It just looks like that, but down here we just have like extra toys, that little play walker thing. And then that is just extra clothes. That's the box of preemie clothes that I need to give to my sister because she's having a little boy next year. So um, that's stuff that doesn't fit him anymore. So I've just been throwing it in there once he grows out of it, which makes me really sad. Got extra blankets. That is my beautiful Mina Bay diaper bag that I, it's more of like a hospital, like kind of overnighter bag. It's a little big for a diaper bag, but I use that. That's why I brought to the hospital for all his stuff and I absolutely loved it. So I'm keeping that in there for like when we go in little weekend trips and stuff that's what I'm going to bring for him and then we have just extra diapers and then all three of these are extra blankets extra muslin blankets those are snuggle me covers that's a box from love every with just some stuff in it that he can't really play with yet that I haven't opened up yet and then this is extra blankets nursing pads shoes like extra shoes that don't really quite fit him yet this is all NICU stuff like this is like the thing that they sent him home with in the NICU like a bottle he is breastfed so he's not using that but this is hilarious they took his nurses um, took a bunch of pictures of him because he's so cute. Some cute little pictures from the nursery. If you're wondering why he went to the NICU, you can go watch my birth story video that is up on my channel right now. And then this is just extra birth class. So that's as far as like the baby stuff in here. And then up there is just random stuff that I kind of don't have a place for. This is all newborn zero to three stuff that he can kind of wear right now. And then the rest of this is like nicer clothes that I don't want to like fold up and cram in a drawer that doesn't fit him yet. So this is all stuff that will fit him eventually, but just not quite yet. And and this is stuff that's like almost fitting or fitting in right now. So that's kind of how I organized it. And it's been a pretty good system so far. So yeah. That is all for his nursery. I already did a bedside nursery tour in one of my vlogs a few vlogs back. So he's currently sleeping in our room at nighttime. Um, he does take naps in here throughout the day, but I'm nursing him all night long. So it's obviously way more convenient and safe for him to just be in our room at night. And I have a beautiful Moses basket bassinet and um, I did the whole like diaper caddy setup so if you want to know what my bedside setup looks like go watch that vlog otherwise this is his nursery we keep it pretty simple and the reason there's a few things in here that are missing from a traditional nursery just the reason I did it is because I didn't do a changing table because I honestly just change him on the floor on our bed like I just prefer doing that it's just quicker and easier he's my third kid like I don't have time to like bring him upstairs and change him on the chain table I just change him where it's convenient honestly and use one of those little gather mats underneath him also I don't have a mobile over his crib it's kind of distracting I did the taking care of baby sleep course with the twins and she kind of says that mobiles are really like stimulating to the brain so I preferred them over like a changing table or something but we don't have a changing table so that's why I chose not to do like a mobile in here but other than that I feel like we kind of have everything we need and honestly babies don't need too many things to <laughs> thrive so a lot of his toys and like his play mat and all that stuff is downstairs in our living room where we play as a family where the twins play so I can kind of watch them all at the same time anyways I think that is everything if you guys have any questions about stuff, please leave it in the comments below and please, please make sure to check out Nurture Anne. They're an amazing company, just beautiful 
multiple quality products that will last a lifetime, especially if you're planning on having multiple children. And if you do check them out, make sure, like I said, I have a code for $50 off. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.